Hannah couldn't have children. This, this tormented her so much that she went to the tabernacle and asked God for a child. She prayed, Lord, if, if you'll give me a son, I'll give him back to you. And, and he'll serve you for the rest of his life. Eli, the high priest, saw the woman, saw her mouth was moving, but there was no words. He thought she was drunk. Woman, put away your wine. Oh, sir, I, I'm not drunk. I, I was praying to God. Oh, oh, um, uh, it, uh, then you can go your way. Uh, the, uh, the Lord will answer your prayer. And it was true. Less than a year later, Hannah gave birth to a baby boy. Called his name Samuel, which means God heard me. When the boy was old enough, Hannah took him back to the tabernacle, said to Eli, I prayed and asked the Lord for a child, and he heard my prayer, and he gave me a son. Now I'm giving him back to the Lord, and he will serve him for the rest of his life. Eli gave Samuel work to do in the tabernacle. And as the boy grew physically, he also grew in good favor with people and with God. But Eli's sons were just the opposite. They were wicked and they did evil things even in the tabernacle. One night, when Samuel was sleeping in the middle of the night, just before morning, the Lord said, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel woke up and thought it was Eli, so he got up and went down to where Eli was sleeping and said, here I am. Eli woke up and said, Son, I, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to his bed. As he laid there, God said, Samuel, Samuel. Well, this time, Samuel knew he wasn't dreaming. He got up and went back to Eli and said, uh, well, here I am. Eli said, Samuel, I, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel once again went back to his bed. God said, Samuel, Samuel. Well, at this point, Samuel didn't know God. The Lord had never spoke to him before. So he did the only thing he knew to do, and that was go back to Eli. Here I am because you called me. Well, by this time, Eli knew what was going on. He said, son, go back to bed. If you hear that voice again, say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Samuel went back to his bed. Samuel, Samuel. S speak, because your, your servant is listening. Oh, Samuel, 
I'm not pleased with how Eli is allowing his son to do evil in my house. I will judge him and his sons. Next morning, Samuel got up to do his chores and Eli said, Samuel, what did the Lord say to you? Well, the boy didn't want to tell Eli what the Lord had said. Son, listen to me. Don't hide anything from me. Tell me what the Lord said. Samuel told him exactly what the Lord said. Eli said, He is Lord. He will do that which is right in his eyes. From that day on, the Lord continued to reveal to Samuel his word. And Samuel obeyed the Lord and followed him. And everything that he said came true. And all of Israel come, came to know that Samuel was a prophet of the Lord.